Um, well, it is uh, Saturday, June 20th, 2020. And uh, my plans have changed quite drastically. Um, I found out on June 5th that um, my school that I've been going to for the past nine months shut down. And I'm okay. I'm okay with it closing down. I am okay with not going back there for another year because God has taught me that, well, he delivered on the things that I asked for from him. I want to go back to, to, to about 10 months ago where I was driving in my parents' Jeep, driving to my home church, and saying every single thing that I, I wanted to happen, all my hopes and my dreams for. So I wanted to take this moment to kind of explain like what I expect to get out of ALC this year. Well, one, I want to be closer to God than ever because it's definitely easy um, while I'm working and all that to become less focused on God or, you know, trust Him less and try to do stuff in my own power because that's what everyone else is doing at my job. Everyone else is doing stuff in their own power and you, you kind of forget that. So I want to become a lot closer to God. I want to become more reliant on Him. I want to become more trusting in Him. Number two, I want to make some lifelong friends. Um, guys that I can just talk to whenever. I can call them up whenever and, you know, I can have real conversations, deep conversations with them. And number three, I want to grow in my spiritual gifting, which is worship. Uh, that's, well, not my spiritual gifting, my, my gifting, which is worship. And I want to start to nurture the worship pastor or the, you know, the worship leader um, gift and role that God has put on my life. So that's, you know, that's going to come with time. That's going to take some time. But I know that, you know, me being able to nurture that over, you know, nine months, 18 months, because I will be going there next year, it will become more obvious and more clear and the direction will be more clear on where I'm supposed to go and uh, where I'm supposed to be leading. But yeah, and you know, we'll see how much I got out of it, but um, I'm really excited for this year. I'm really excited. All those things were, were brought in, which is why I'm not upset. I'm not sad about it closing um, and I'm excited to look forward into the future so yeah, here here I'm now back at my parents home in uh, Tampa Florida it's uh, absolutely beautiful I'm right by the pool right now and um, yeah now I guess I have to make new goals for myself and I think one of the things that I loved to do um, quite a couple of years ago, uh, I really started in, in 2014, um, is just filming my summer. And I, I, I am late on to it. It is June 20th, so it is... I got home like a month, a month ago, just about. Um, school was done a month ago. And... Uh, you know, I, I was watching, actually, uh, one of my classmates back from, from uh, high school, back from River Ridge High School. Um, his name's Brian Langston, and um, he just films videos. He doesn't film for anybody. He doesn't um, film things that grab, like, lots of subscribers or viewers, but he just films things that, are in, that he finds interesting. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to kind of do the same thing, except I'm just going to film for motivation because, you know, it, 
it, it's easy to 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 not be motivated or to uh, go into like a vicious cycle of of the normal day to day, and I don't want that to happen to me. I want to be able to continue to go forward and, and leap forward, and whether that's going to a different college, whether that's going uh, back into normal work, which I am back in normal work right now, but whether that's continuing on here in Florida or, or moving to Louisiana, uh, moving to Georgia, South Carolina, I don't know, South Carolina, but yeah, that's kind of what this video is. Uh, it's not for anybody. I mean, anybody can see it, anybody can watch it, I don't really care, but it's more, it's for me. It's for, for what I find interesting and, and you know, I just want to do it like a, every three days I'll, I'll have a video. I think that's the goal. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm doing. So right now, what I find interesting, what has been really cool is uh, right up here in my foyer, um, I've, I've kind of like redecorated the space. Uh, the piano has been here for quite a while. But uh, it was, and it's still kind of taken up by uh, stuff that we, we need to donate to charity. Uh, just some stuff that we don't use anymore. But uh, we used to have a massive couch in here, and that's gone. We got rid of it. I put this desk here, um, and uh, I did another really cool thing. I love home automation. Home automation is like one of my favorite things. And I think the really cool thing about this space is this. Alexa, turn on the foyer lights. Okay. I think this is cool. I really do. This is, this right here is, is something that I just love. I love Christmas lights, uh, not for the holiday Christmas, but I, did, I just think they look cool. I, I think they look pretty cool. And, and uh, this, this room was definitely dark. Uh, it, it has a window here. But it gets to nighttime and this place is like pitch black in here. Like it, it's dark and all we have is that little light right there. Uh, so brought these in. These definitely add a bit of ambience and it looks pretty cool at night and, and in the day. It looks pretty cool. And I brought this lamp in and I kind of have plans for this to be more like a note taking or... Um, I do, I do my small group. I have a, I have a uh, young adult small group that I'm a part of. Um, and I do my Zoom calls right here, which is cool. And I watch service right here and take notes right here. Um, but this is also just a bit of my worship space uh, where I kind of go to just get away. And um, I started an IGT, IGTV uh, channel thing. And... Uh, I'm just going to post like videos of worship whenever I feel like it. I'm not going to really like stress myself out about it. But um, yeah, that's one thing that I, I want to continue to do, uh, which is just pretty cool. Uh, if I can bless some people with worship, God has definitely given me uh, talents in, in piano and a, an okay voice. I don't consider myself a singer at all, but I consider myself a worshiper. Um, so... Yeah, those are a couple things that I find interesting. Another thing that I've been working on is my bedroom. And um, I always used to have like the messiest bedroom. Um, but, uh, and it's a little messy right now. I was going through some uh, notes and uh, it definitely is a little bit on the messy side. But before ALC, I never would make my bed. And well, that's different now. And um, I definitely love my room. I love my room. Uh, and especially my brand new TV. Uh, bless up on that and my surround system that I had in college. Um, and I've had it before college. Uh, my uncle gave it to me. It's a Yamaha RX A660. And this thing is just killer. I can't believe he gave it to me. He literally just, hey, I don't need any more. Uh, you want to pick it up? And I was like, absolutely. Um, and then Xbox, yeah, Xbox game all the way. Um, and then another thing that I absolutely love, this is my favorite part of my room. It is all my keepsakes, my uh, diploma, uh, 
Padrinos, which is the best D team. I know you don't really know much about this, but this is for Jeremy in the future. <laughs> and uh, I have money that was given to me like a very long time ago. Uh, but it was all like wrapped in these little pieces of string and like put into these little bundles. And I always thought it was annoying and I never used it. So I just kind of leave it here. It also kind of looks like I roll up cocaine or like, I don't know. I don't do drugs, so I don't know the terms. <laughs> uh, but the other thing, um, I just have like all my wristbands or whatever you call them. I don't wear them. Things that I don't wear anymore. This was actually from ALC um, for, for experience. That was uh, the first time I heard about the college. And a key necklace from Mexico. Um, well, it was from Atlanta, Georgia. We brought it to Mexico, and just a lot of my memories are, are, are from Mexico, from that missions trip that I went on. My favorite note uh, that, that is from my notebook, uh, this is actually... Uh, one of Jeannie's messages, musings from your future casket. I love, I love that message. That, that really, <laughs> that really uh, hit me pretty well. And um, back from 2015, summer camp from my church. Ugh, I love this book. It was handmade and it just, this means a lot to me. Um, and then, what was this from? I think this was from The Giver, I think was the movie. And, uh, it's basically the concept of um, uh, you do a good thing for three different people and you tell them to do a good thing for three different different people. And, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but say two of the people that you helped did things for three other people, that's you helped one person that helped six people. So, you know, it's just kind of a good philosophy to live by. You know, hey, just do good. Tell others to do good. And, you know, hopefully we can make this whole entire world a better place. Um, another thing, uh, currently working through a leadership book, uh, called the heart of a leader by Ken Blanchard and obviously, you know, Holy Bible, uh, Christian gay. And, um, this book has been, whoo, it has been, uh, really doing, uh, doing a work on me really, uh, starting to grow me more as a leader. And, um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I put a receipt there. This is an old receipt too. This is from like a stupid long time ago. But I used it as a bookmark because, you know, I couldn't be bothered to get an actual bookmark. And then, yeah. Yeah, the other thing I absolutely love about this room is that it's all, it's all controlled by Alexa. So Alexa, uh, turn off the fan lights. And we're left with the beautiful Christmas lights. Uh, I, I just, I love my room. Um, if you can't tell, I freaking love it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is what I've been doing since I've been back home, uh, working on this. And another thing that I did, I absolutely love, <laughs> is I actually hook up, hooked up some bookshelf speakers that I had uh, to the Alexa, and um, it plays sound for it. So that's really all I have. Um, Another thing, Jeremy, you future Jeremy, um, you're currently working at Home Love Media, Home Love Construction, and things are going good. Uh, actually, there's a couple big projects coming up. Um, right now, you're doing pro source Q and A's, which Jeremy, you know what that is. Also, go, go give a follow to uh, the Home Love Construction Facebook and Home Love Media Facebook if you can do that. If you're just randomly watching this. Um, That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> just that would be really cool. A random person on the internet finds a company based here in, in Tampa. Um, yeah, other than that, um, that's really all I have for today. Um, so this is the first first video, and this is just going to be of today just because it's longer. It's kind of more of an introduction uh, to this whole entire YouTube thing. Um, and I, 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 I'm going to share some of my memories probably through these videos, uh, maybe make a couple sit down videos where I'm just talking about some really cool memories I have that I have stored on my hard drive. I don't know, that'd be cool. So, um, yeah. Hey, future Jeremy, wherever you're at, just remember that God is in the center of it all and that 
no matter what circumstance has come before you, uh, no matter what circumstance is affecting you right now, Jesus wins. And that is good. Don't stop worshiping him. And give all your glory to God. And I know, Jeremy, you, that's, that's a statement that you live by, giving all the glory to God. But I also know that you can sometimes get in your head and no longer do that. So just a little encouragement for you. I love you. And uh, yeah, signing off.